Hello, Akron fans! Welcome to another match. This is a 1v1 between Ipstick, playing Vekir, and Google Frog, who hasn't decided yet. Uh, let's see. Okay, now he's playing CISO. He went in the past and decided, so. And of course, there's a bunch of observers that don't exist. Uh, don't worry about that. But, so now we have Google Frog, CISO, and Ipstick's Vekir, both going for what looks like a fairly economic start. So, I have a especially exciting game. It doesn't even look like Google Frog has been scouting much, but Google Frog is going into the future. I'm just going to see, is he scouting something in the future? No, he is not. So, at this point, Ipstick has set up in the present. So, just so you know, I was behind a bit there. Ipstick, back in the present, has set up his economy, and so has Google Frog. So, Google Frog is going into the future to apparently scout out something. It seems that he's trying to figure out what to do. I guess he's decided to build his economy more to the future without having to worry about the present catching up with it. So, at any rate, looks like both players, or if Stick at least is going for a scout. Google does not seem to be actually scouting. Normally you'd scout with your special ops, but he gets he's decided not to. So at this point, if Stick is going to have a slight advantage in information, Google Frog not knowing what if Stick is up to is, may be a problem for him. He doesn't even know what race if Stick is in the moment. So, if Stick will be at a slight advantage once they, know, once well, basically, once he gets that Tetsbeer into Google Frog's base. So, let's watch that happen, since not much else is happening right now. So, yeah, this, isn't a pretty, this is a pretty standard just opening the game. Players just setting up their economies, getting set up. So, at this point, looks like yeah, Istic's going for early foundation. He'll probably be building that into a depot, so he can get vehicles really quickly. At this point, he doesn't have nearly enough resources for it yet, but he will soon. I assume he doesn't, since he hasn't built it yet. And looks like Google Frog is going for an early factory as opposed to an early importer. Oftentimes players will go for an importer before going for a factory, but in this case he's decided to go for the factory first, and now he's getting the importer. Importers are necessary for CISO in order to have reserves. Reserves are necessary for every unit except mechs, which aren't particularly powerful units, so there's good reason to build unit or build importers to get units other than reserves. So right now, if sticks if sticks Tenth of Year is just about to get into the base of Google Frog, and it looks like he's gone back into the past for something. And I'm just gonna check. See, it looks like no, he hasn't done quite as I expected. He hasn't changed his race, which I was thinking he might do. And it looks like he's just gonna check out what's going on now in the past. He's probably so he jumped into the present, now he's jumping back to where he left off. He's not fast forwarding yet. Oh no, he's fast forwarding now. So now his Tetsu is going to get into the base, he's going to know Google Frog's up, he know Google Frog's race, and Google Frog does not yet know, or at least he doesn't know in the present. In the future, he also doesn't know. He doesn't actually send out a scout, a scouting lancer, as it were, until about, well, 3 minutes, 38 seconds in. The present is currently at 3 minutes exactly. So he's not going to be knowing for a little while what's up, and at this point, Istik does know, but Istik has actually lost his unit, so he doesn't know very much what is going on. He's only got a very small taste. He knows that Google Frog is CISO, but he doesn't know what Google Frog is going for. He's going for a Lancer Rush. Or at least he was planning on going for a Lancer Rush. He may have changed it. And it looks like he actually hasn't built up these foundations that he already used. He hasn't developed them. He simply is keeping them there. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe he developed them in the past. Here. Yes, never mind. Okay. He has actually developed them in the past, so that was what he did when he went back. So he is developing them into a pair of depots and an aerial control center. This will allow him to very quickly get a lot of vehicles and a lot of air vehicles too, but it's hard to tell whether or not he's actually going to be able to. The thing with depots is that they can build a lot of units at a time. They can build them all in parallel, so you don't have to worry about running out of space so much until you get to the later game and you start building Halkion class units, which take up a lot of space, and then you usually need more than one depot. But at this point in the game, I'm surprised if Stick is going for that. This is pretty unorthodox. So now Google Frogs, here we are, about 3 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. Google Frog's Lancer Rush is going through, and it looks like Ipstick has actually sent Design Gear to expand down to the Q Plasma only expansion in the bottom left corner. And this Lancer is coming in and is going to start attacking. So now Ipstick knows the attack is coming. He's actually slightly in the past, but he's going to see the attack on his timeline. While Google Frog is going to be in the future, and it looks like Google Frog is simply planning out what he's going to do in the future. Wow, he's actually he's going to have a lot of macro fabs. So about five minutes into the five minutes, forty-five seconds into the game, he has about three macro fabs, and he has quite the production infrastructure. But back in the present, he only has two macro fabs, and where he's currently looking, he also does. So, the Lance Rush is coming in, and now the Lance is going to be coming in. So the there's a Zion Beer coming in, trying to fight off the Lancer, but it's not going to be very powerful against it. Zion Beers are not good against air, and the Lancer had an advantage in range. The Lancer is going around, it's going to try to hit some resource processors, try to slow him down, because when he hits the resource processors, they close up, they don't harvest anything, and he's going to completely wipe, or at least cripple, it's just 
it sticks economy, and this is going to be a big deal because it stick needs that Q plasma if he wants to build any vehicles, and he needs those vehicles if he wants to get anywhere ahead in the game. So I'm surprised actually this tech is going in the back. I'm going to look where it stick actually is back in about four minutes in the game when Lance Rush comes in. Let's just review. Okay, so Lance Rush is going to be coming in. Now, Ipstick has actually had a chance to change his course of action and respond to this as it's coming. He's going to fast forward through this. So we've seen all this. Lancer comes in, starts to attack. Now, a Teth Pulsar has been built. This is the second time around. Teth Pulsar has been built. It's coming in. It's actually attacking the Lancer. It's doing quite a bit of damage. The Lancer has to run away. It can't do anything against the RPs. The resource processors are not being crippled. There are a couple being closed near the, near the L Crystal, but it's not going to be too much of a problem. They are going to open up fairly soon. And it looks like the Lancer is just trapped in here. He can't really get out. He's going to try to attack some of the RPs or try to attack some of the units, but he can't really do much. There's another Lancer coming in here, and it looks like it's going to be able to actually do the damage that was originally intended, but the Test Pulsar is also going to be able to do a lot of damage to it, so I don't know how well it's going to work out. Looks like the Test Pulsar is going to take care of this Lancer. The Lancer has to run away. Has to run away very quickly. I'm surprised, though, that the Test Pulsar has not gone and attacked here with that Lancer. I'm going to go check, just check the humans in the past, and it looks like, no, nothing has changed. Google Frog is trying to change his course of action, though. About 4 minutes, 20 seconds into the game, he's changing his course of action. Looks like he's not doing much, though. He might be doing something in his main base. It looks like he has... He's got a couple of Mar tanks being built. He doesn't get... Well, right. 5 minutes and 40 seconds was when he got 3 macro fabs. So this is still earlier on when he doesn't have the 3 macro fabs yet. He only has 2. And it looks like Istek has gone for a bit of an expansion. He's also going for an expansion as natural. So he's getting more Q-plasma, getting more liquid crystal. He's going to be having an easier time fighting this off every time around because he is getting more resources. And it looks like at this point, he's gone in and he's gotten rid of the Lancers. It looks like Google Frog is not going to reattack with Lancers. The Lancers have been eliminated. So at this point, Istik is going to be able to sit pretty. I'm just going to jump a bit into the future, or further into the present, or further towards the present. And it looks like at this point, Google Frog has actually gone in to attack with the Martanks he was building earlier. Now he's building it. Now we see the third macro fab, and actually a fourth macro fab this time around. So he's going to have more macro fabs than he did the last time I checked this timeline, or this point on the timeline. So at this point, there's going to be three Mar tanks coming in and a frigate. This will be a lot more devastating against the ground, and all Istik has is a Shin Pulsar. He's going to be scouting out the base. He's going to see there's four macro fabs and a lot of units coming in, and hopefully he has enough resources to build up enough vehicles to get to take care of this. And it looks like he's actually, back in the past, he has actually gone and done that. He's gotten a larger expansion, though. He's taking advantage of the fact that he... Well, he has all this resources, has all this time, he's not getting attacked. So he's going to be going to the past, correcting some stuff, and just going to fast forward a bit to see what he's done. Because I imagine that he's going to be starting building some units, because he's going to need them, and he knows he's going to need them, because Google Frog's attack is going to be hitting him. And he knows there's a time wave that's going to come in, or Google Frog's own player wave is going to come in, so if Stick is going to know about this attack, he's going to start, he should be starting building vehicles sometime soon, but I haven't seen them being built yet. Looks like he's still delaying on it, even though he should know the attack is going to hit. Perhaps he's running out of Chrono Energy at this point, but this part far back in the past is not that hard in the Chrono Energy. If you look, it's, as you can see just on my timeline here, you can see the Chrono Energy is actually fairly low cost, so he should be able to rebuild units. He has the column up here, which is going to be able to scatter it out, but it's too little too late. The Martanks coming in, the Frigates are coming in, and it looks like the Martanks are starting to attack. They're going to just take out this column hub quickly. This Teth has also gone down quickly, so the Frigates are completely unimpeded. Everything's unimpeded. There's massive attack coming in. There's... It's going to play it normally. So Shin is being built, there's also another Shin Turcher being built, that's good for Bomber, but the Frigate's going to be able to make short work of that Shin Turcher, because they're really going to get this air, and the Martanks not going to be damaged too much, the Martanks have, and Shin, well, Frigate's primarily gotten rid of this, so now the Calm Hub is gone, so the scouting has now been reduced for Ipstick, that now, okay, all the RPs, now all the QP, all the Q-class RPs have been destroyed, Ipstick has gone, tried to change the course of action, but he can't really do too much, another Shin Turcher has been destroyed, trying to deploy a bunch of Shin Turchers, he's gone for a Teth Pulsar, but I don't think this is going to last that long, because the Mar Tanks are dealing a lot of damage. Mars and Frigates are a deadly combination. Mar Tanks are awesome against ground, Frigates are awesome against air, and it's really tough to fight against either of them, because you need to have the unit that the other one counters. But it looks like there actually has been... a Shin Gear has managed to get rid of a Frigate, out of range of the Mar Tanks, the Mar Tanks aren't really noticing, and the Foundation here is healing it up, but it's not going to last too long and the Shin Beer has gone down. So at this point, Istik has gone further back in the past, just going to go back, see what he's done. So back before the attack actually hit entirely, it looks like there's... Okay, so that attack has started to hit again, just as a review, but it looks like... Yeah, it looks like Istik hasn't done much they didn't do before. So going back to where we were... So the Shin Beer has just been destroyed again. So that's what happened right before I jumped. So now we're back to where we were, and it looks like Istik is not in a really good position. He's doing very damaged. The aerial control center is down, the depot is down, 
Looks like the healing foundation is going to be down very soon. Another test pulsar is up, but it's not going to be able to do too much for the Mar tanks. Make sure work of it. And the Fergus just completely steamrolling him. And it looks like both players have gone into the past to try to change this course of action, but nothing has been able to change. Google Frog is doing nothing. You see, Google Frog is actually slightly before if stick, and nothing is going to be able to change with all this. So it looks like altogether. This attack is a very successful Istic, not going to be able to do much to hold up against it. Unless he does something in the future, Chrono Core something back, gets Gay Tech, but I don't think he has time to do that. It looks like Istic's entire base has been destroyed, and it doesn't look like he's actually built anything out around. Yeah, so Istic has declared GG, so that's been a good game. It looks like Istic's Shin Vulture has been harassing a bit in the meantime, but it hasn't been able to do much. So, yeah, that was the game. So I hope you enjoyed it, and please. Subscribe for more, because actually I probably should point that out. There are a lot of subscribers right now. Thank you guys all for subscribing. I really appreciate it. So yeah, that's the game. And if you really like these, please subscribe so you'll know exactly when new videos come up, because I haven't quite set a set schedule yet. I'm trying to do these as frequently as possible, but you'll know exactly when they happen if you subscribe. So have a good night.